What's up YouTube? So I'm working on a Silverado, replacing some door hinges. How do you prevent your door hinges from failing? Well, you don't want to lean or hang on your doors every time you get in and out of your car. The next part of what, why door hinges fail is from lack of being lubricated and, or maintained. And believe it or not, your door hinges and handles and all that stuff need to be lubricated. I don't care what your vehicle you buy, you also need to be lubricated. Just like window tracks and felts and seals. They all need to be lubricated too, but we're door, we're door hinges on a Silverado. So we did the driver's side probably two years ago when I wasn't really into banging out YouTube videos. Um, and now I'm YouTube crazy. So here's the upper door hinge. Uh, we went with OEM. OEM doesn't call, come color matched. The problem with this side, this door was, it was binding. And on pretty much all hinges are set up the same way. Uh, they have a spring, a cam. And if you look at the corrosion on this thing, all right, the reason why it failed, this particular one, is because no one's lubricating it. It hasn't been lubricated throughout its life when it was at the dealership. And now that when you go out into the aftermarket, um, I don't know of too many people who are, are just courtesy lubricating customer door hinges anymore. Um, everything has an expense and a charge to them. So the roller here. All right, what happens is this starts to fail and wear out. Most of the time, this is seized. And what happens is the cam, which is this part of the door hinge, cannot roll freely because the roller is stuck. Even if you grease it, it still doesn't work because the cam is on such, under such high tension from the spring, it forces it against the roller and causes too much friction. So it's like, uh, uh, and then it pops, and then it's very difficult to get the door to open and close. But simple lubrication, over its lifetime would have prevented the door hinges from failing. So now that we have the new door hinges in and everything's aligned, so I used my belt to hang it from our, our four post. And then you want to make sure the body lines all line up and then you want the door to open effortless, effortlessly, effortlessly. And then see how it just basically just closes all by itself. That's how you can tell that the door is in perfect alignment. So the latch and the striker, okay, are not in conflict with each other when it closes. So how did I achieve that? Once you have the upper hinge in uh, and the lower hinge in, um, I leave this side tight because this is pinned on GMs. Um, and I've also seen cars where this is this is your adjustment here and this is pinned. So on this one, this is pinned against the, the body um, using the bolts, it has holes that this aligns this part of the door. This part over here is slotted. So what I do is I loosely leave this one a little bit loose and I tighten all of them up at the same time. And then I back them all off but one and I just make sure it's not super tight on one of them. And then I take a slide hammer and depending on where the door is, if the door is too far towards the rear, let it slide forward. Just tap, 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 open and close the door, be careful. If it needs to go back, I use a slide hammer, which is here, and I slide ham this ever so slightly and open and close the door until I achieve uh, perfectionist. <laughs> Thanks for watching.